Hey everybody, Mark Spector to Comics and I'm back. This time, I spent $125 at a comic shop. If you want to see what keys I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up going to a comic shop here in Aurora. I believe it's called All Season Collectibles. They do uh, comics, they do video games, coins, toys, you name it, a little bit of everything, you know. Just like it says in the name, All Season Collectibles. So I ended up going to the shop, had a little bit of time, ended up, um, like I said, spent $125 all in, and picked up some cool books, some cool covers, some spec related, some not. Um, just a lot of like older stuff mainly some bronze age a little bit of silver age and uh i think one or two new books so um let's start off with the haul all right so first book marvel team up featuring spider-man and the man thing this is issue number 68 got this for six dollars it's a low grade it's a little beat up has a nice little spine roll here but um it's just a cool cover and if I'm not mistaken, there is a first appearance in here. Um, just have to quickly look it up. Um, this book is the first appearance of Despray, an ancient demonic ancient, and fear and despair. So, um, you know, a little minor key, but um, these team ups are always fun books to pick up, especially if you can get them for under ten dollars. They're fun reads as well. You know, it's always. You get some of these obscure team-ups. Um, this one's not as obscure being Spider-Man and Man-Thing. But you do get some um, some random ones in the series. For example, uh, let's see. Like if you go into, I'm going down the list. Um, like Marvel Team-Up 19, the Spider-Man and, and Kazar team-up. That's kind of obscure. Um, for the most part, they are Spider-Man team-ups with random characters. But uh, I am a fan of the uh, the character man thing, so uh, I had to pick that up for six bucks. That's kind of a no-brainer. All right, so second book ended up picking up. They had a few books there for the Miss Marvel run, and uh, if I see them for a decent price, I will pick them up. And they did have this issue here. This is Miss Marvel issue number twenty. This is her debuting her new costume there the little lightning bolt costume there which i think is fantastic it's a nice cover as well uh, he's fighting this lizard it is uh, a dave cockrum and why check cover so for 20 bucks i picked this up this is in pretty nice shape too probably say like in the 7580 so this is nice they did have issue 23 as well i believe that's the last issue in the run um, you know me, I like to pick up last issues, but it was, I think, I think it was a little too, too low grade for the price they were asking. So, um, going back to the next book and like I was saying, we were talking about Marvel team ups. So here's one in towards the, you know, the later part of the run. This is, uh, issue number 117, Marvel team up Spider-Man and the Wolverine. And this is just a cool cover. You can see him with his claws. Got a nice, like, high-profile view here on the side, right above Spidey. This is a Bob Layton and Joe Rubenstein cover. Both two great artists, legends in the in the field. Got a chance to meet both of them, and um, got that for ten bucks, which is really nice. Uh, <clears throat> I believe there's a first appearance in here. I don't know if it's Professor Power, if that's the name of the. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, Professor Power is the first appearance in here. Minor first appearance, never heard of the character. But uh, like I said, I'm always looking out for these Marvel team-ups, especially if it's around 10 bucks or less, and they're in pretty good condition. All right, so next book, we're going to do some two modern books, and then we're going to go back to some Bronze Age. This is What If Silver Surfer, Issue number 104, 
this is what if in possible man obtain the infinity gauntlet this is just a great cover um <coughs> it's kind of i don't know just funny seeing that little character there impossible man with the uh infinity gauntlet it's not this character's first appearance impossible man i believe debuted in fantastic four issue number 11 10 or i think i'll we'll say it's 11 real early fantastic four issue for the you know really early appearance that that is i think that's pretty slept on character um could be a potential future fantastic four villain who knows but staying focused on this book this is just a fun cover you see in him holding the gauntlet there you got uh, all these characters here trying to put impossible man down you got galactus you got thanos you also got silver surfer there just a fun cover um and i got it for five bucks so <laughs> i couldn't pass that up all right this is i was a little surprised to see this book here world war hulk issue number five and if you look closely at the barcode it is the one in 25 so um this is the first appearance of scar i believe i believe it's the first i don't think it's the first fault but um first appearance of scar this book heated up quite a bit for a while um i guess there was some speculation that there this character may show up in a future project no idea but to find out you know to find a one in 25 you know just sitting there in, in ratio for 10 bucks i couldn't pass that up and it's a rather clean copy all right we're down to the last two books and just take a quick pause if you haven't already feel free to hit the thumbs up if you're still watching at this time you know i appreciate it if you're still watching it now and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Got a lot of fun content coming up on the channel. So I greatly appreciate it. And uh, so now we're going to get to some fun books in the Bronze Age. Just one book, actually. This is Marvel Premiere, issue number 13. And I love picking up these Marvel Premieres, Marvel Spotlights. That whole Bronze Age series is just fantastic. Uh, especially the Marvel premieres, it's a lot of these early ones are all Doctor Strange focused. So this one, number 13, is the first appearance of Cisneg, a time-traveling sorcerer from the 31st century. Um, picked this up for 15 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Whenever you see these, because it's just classic Frank Bruner artwork, and he's one of the more, you know, I don't know, desirable artist to pick up in the Bronze Age, especially when it comes to Doctor Strange. Um, there's obviously going to be a lot of speculation when it comes to this upcoming Doctor Strange movie. There's going to be some, you know, moving around, going to different, you know, uh, universes. There's going to be different sorcerers appearing. So I thought this was a fun pickup. A little bit of a spec play on this um, potential 31st century sorcerer. So, uh... Marvel premiere issue number 13. And the last book, you know, I had it ended up with a little uh, Silver Age. And it's a slab. So nice copy. Actually, my first copy in the PC of Thor issue number 166. If you're not familiar with this book, you should probably check this out. This is a great classic cover done by none other than jack kirby it is a stan lee artwork um, stan lee written work it is the second full appearance of him aka adam warlock and he is battling none other than thor says a god berserk it is a 3.0 off white to white pages and if you look at the top it has that custom thor label that's pretty sweet. It's my first time having one of these custom labels from CGC on the top. It looks fantastic. The back of it <laughs> is pretty rough shape, which is probably why I got the 3.0. <laughs> I love these old promos. It's finished high school at home. And uh, qualify for a better job, higher pay, greater security. <laughs> but uh, 
great book and I only paid 50 bucks for it. So uh, I thought that was a fantastic price. You know, getting these Silver Age books, they usually cost around, I think it's like 30, 35 bucks, just get one graded. So uh, to get this book for 50 bucks, I already slapped with the custom label, which is another five bucks, was a home run for me. I did not have this book in the run. I do have 165 already, so this is gonna be another book added to my Warlock collection. So that's it. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed my $125 LCS pickup. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I expect the comics. Out.